You want to start an online boutique? Amazing. That's great. Let's go. But before we start, there's a few things that you should know. Let's get into it. Hey, I'm Emily. I'm a retail consultant and I'm a mindset coach. Most often I work with boutique owners who want to open a women's, children's, or men's boutique. And you're in the right place if you want to start an online boutique because you're seeing them explode or you're something that you're passionate about. But Let me talk you through some of the most important things that you really need to know because a lot of people are getting into this business now and they're not realizing the impact that it's going to have on their life and what they're going to have to do to be successful. So let's just jump right in. So an online business obviously requires a lot of technical stuff. So if you're not tech savvy, which I mean, in this day and age, I feel like most people are, I'm not even the most tech savvy, but I can figure things out and there's a YouTube video for everything now. So So just know that there's a lot of tech involved in terms of building your website and adding apps to your Shopify store, you know, connecting POS systems. And there's a lot, okay? There's a lot of new software you're going to have to learn. And a lot of it's going to be online. So listen, if you're not tech savvy, that's okay. Just know going into it that you're going to have to at least be adaptable and open to learning all this new tech stuff. Because once you learn it, you can totally do it. You can maintain your website yourself. I mean, a lot of having an online boutique is a DIY situation, but you have to be willing to be a DIY person and go through the tech, the struggles, the like annoying little things that happen, and sometimes annoying big things that happen. You have to be resilient and understand that those tech things you can kind of control, but there are going to be days where you really can't. And I think that's one of the hardest parts initially getting into having an online boutique. Now, buying inventory is not that easy either. I think a lot of people, again, think, oh, I can just buy from this company or I can go on a website and buy stuff and and sell it. And listen, it's just more complicated than that, okay? You're going to have to plan your product assortment. You're going to want to identify your ideal customer. And you're going to want to have a point of view. If you don't have a fashion point of view for the person that you're trying to sell to, they're not going to see what you're doing. They're not going to care what you're doing. And I think it's important to know that the stronger your point of view is, the more you have a direction with your assortment and, and what you're doing and where you're growing and who you're catering to, all of that really matters these days. You know, there are people who are literally just making bamboo pajamas for kids. That's all they do right now, right? I know there's companies that are expanding things like that, but at the end of the day, starting out with that one really good core item can be totally an approach when you have a boutique. Having five core items that are just really good items that put a uniform together, that is totally okay. I have a client right now that does wholesale and she created three new sweaters that she's going to launch. Just three for wholesale. But they're her favorite sweaters. They're so cute. The colorways are beautiful. That's it though. You know, if you really love something, you can sell volume of one or two things or you can sell small bits of lots of other things. It's important to know though, when you're online, you have to be the face of this or you have to hire models. It doesn't matter, but you really shouldn't be using stock photos if you want to stand out. It's all about styling the clothes. It's all about, again, showing the look, having your customer want to look like that model. That's why when you have a brick and mortar store, your mannequins are so important. Your mannequins sell everything. Like I would have people drive by my store, stop and say, I want that outfit off the mannequin. People are visual. They need to see it and they need to see it on someone they know, who they know the measurements for, who they know is a real person. I think sometimes with stock photos, people feel like, oh, this isn't really reflective of who I am, or it's not reflective of the brand. Make it reflect your brand, your photos. They can't be stock photos. The amount of times we say that to people, it's just, it's nauseating at this point because you've got to understand that we're selling to real women and real women are really smart and (laughs) are going to know when something is a stock photo or when it's not because they don't want to see the stock photo. I know I don't. I want to see the photo that the owner has 
styled, has told me about this model. And that's the most important thing I think that you need to know is that either you're going to model, you're going to take the pictures, you're going to edit the pictures, but it's going to be you and an iPhone or an Android or some kind of not fancy camera starting with a timer like in your room. Like I'm sitting in my office right now, have a ring light, have a microphone, I have a camera. It's a DIY job, but I'm here and I'm showing up and that's what's important too. You've got to show up for this business. If you're having trouble showing up or you think that you don't know how to show up in your business, I want to give you a tip. This book. Yep, it's me again. Um, This book called The Retail Mindset is my most recent book. It's available on Amazon, and I'll put the link down in the video notes about how to get this book. It's going to talk you through all of the common mindset things that come up when you have an online boutique. So please get this, especially if you're struggling and you feel like you don't know any friend that can help or understand, this book will understand you. This book understands what you're going through, and it gives you solutions on how to get through it. So The Retail Mindset, good book. What else do you need to know to start that online boutique? Well, you're going to be on social media a lot, like a lot, and that's okay. Social media is like having free newspaper and magazine advertising at your fingertips all the time. Honestly, I just recently had this revelation where I was like, I need to be posting so much more. Like I've been very casual about social media, but the idea that it's free is really kind of brilliant. I I think it just clicked again. This is free. Like instead of paying for a radio ad or a commercial or any other kind of advertising, you're literally getting free advertising on these apps. And it's a no brainer that you should be showing up all the time on them. I think for me too, it's been really important to just communicate with people and to share what's going on with me. And, you know, there's a part of personal branding that happens no matter if you have an online boutique or more of a personal brand and consulting service like I do. You know, for me, it's important to show up because I'm living the lifestyle of an entrepreneur. But for you as a boutique owner, it's also important for you to show up how you're wearing your own clothes. How are you styling them? How are you going out wearing that new pair of denim that you just brought into the online store last week? Taking candid pictures and kind of getting your people involved can be a really big part of having an online boutique. So if you're not comfortable with your body, with how you look, with sharing yourself, you don't, I mean, listen, you don't have to share every single thing about yourself, but it's important to know that like you are going to be a big catalyst for people wanting to shop with you. And that's an important thing to know because there's always that influencer kind of behind the brand. You are the best influencer for your business. I have a bunch of other things that you should know before you get started. Uh, with your online boutique, I offer them in a free download called the Where to Buy Inventory Guide. And I walk you through all of the inventory steps. I don't even think I really talked about inventory and how hard it can be to pick it and find places to buy and get good prices and ticket it and ship it. And all of that probably deserves its own video, frankly. But if you download this free guide, all you have to do is pop your email in and it's 19 pages that's going to walk you through, you know, everything involved in inventory for a new boutique owner. So the link for that is down below. Um, I hope you like it. If you love this video, please make sure to subscribe, like this video and click that bell for notifications for when I come out with new videos. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Here's to making lots of friends and making lots of money.